سال Good evening, teacher. <laughs> Hi, good evening. How are you? I'm fine. And you? Doing great. Welcome, Jenny. Hi, teacher. How are you tonight? Fine. Everything good? Yeah, everything good. Thanks. And you? Yeah, it's all good. How is work going? How was work today? Uh, today work for me was kind of okay. Just okay. It's okay. We have Katya here. Hi, Katya. Welcome. How are you? I don't know if Jenny had trouble because. Hi, Jenny. I'm gonna she miss her. Right, she, she disappeared. Okay, um, do you have any questions about the previous topics by any chance? Preview topic? No. You, Katya? No. All good. Hayley, do you have questions about previous topics or are you ready for the new one? You're muted. Okay. Take the microphone. All right, uh, we're going to start a new topic. I would like somebody to read the objective. I guess that would be Katya. Go ahead, Katya. What is the objective? Right here. Okay. <laughs> hold Wait on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, give me one second too. Okay. There it is, all yours. Sequence adverbs are used to help describe a progression of events often used, used in receipt on instruction. Sequence adverbs such as first, then, next, after that, and finally, contain information about the order of action and create natural transitions in greet, grading. In greeting. these lessons, grading. In this greeting. lesson for English, greeting. Greeting. Right? In, in or is this it? lesson, hold on, sorry. In this lesson for English teacher, Joy Science, practice describing precepts in English using sequence adverbs. This lesson includes an English oral comprehension exercise. Okay, very good. This is writing. I thought you were saying, yeah, another word, writing. writing. You don't pronounce this W, okay? Only. Uh, you're going to pronounce this part, writing. Writing. Yes. Then this is a sequence. Sequence. And this is, hold on, there was another one. Set us precedes. This describing. Describing. Recipes. Recipes. Right. The other one did it yesterday. Um... Hold on, yeah. How did I just go back here? No. Wait a second. Yeah, we're actually going to study will and going to. So this is the objective, sorry. Yolanda, can you read it, please? Yes. Um, the future tense is what we use to discuss our plans and hopes. In this lesson, learn how to use going to and will to convert his statement to the future tense. English, English teach Joe Sands explain these two different ways to talk about future plans step by step using a simple formula. Ask, your ans ask, ask and answer a question using going to and will as auxiliary verbs and practice discussing your future plans. For example, an upcoming vacation, holidays with family, or even your plans for later in the day. Right, very good. Um, let me see, there was something here. Yeah, most of it was good. Ways to discuss. Cheaper. All right, we're just gonna continue then. Mm -mm. Does anybody know what the difference between will and going to is? 
Because we, we, we're going, going to use to, both for the future, right? Yeah. What both is are it? for future, but... Uh -huh. Future with going to versus future with will. Let's try to see if we can identify what the difference is. Both of them are for the future, so you're right. Yeah, the pronunciation that I wanted to emphasize was this. How do you pronounce this one, guys? Hope. Hopes. And this one? Hope. Hope. Hoops. <laughs> it sounds the same to me. So look, this one is going to sound like this, like I hope, hope, it's a O, all right? And this is like, it's similar to jump, but it's a little bit shorter, right? Like the frog hops, okay? So if you say I hop, it's like you, you're saying I jump. It's a different, a different word. I right? hope. Hope, I hope. Make sure you're saying oh. oh here, right? And you're saying oh here. Oh, like this. Okay. Is that clear? I hope to pass my final exam. You what? I hope to pass my final exam. Right. And say I hope, 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 oh, oh. 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 Right. Oh. Very good. Okay, let's watch the video. Everybody pay attention, please. And first we're going to do a listening. So Let's move the microphone. Future plans. You'll also learn how to use be going to and will as you're expressing your future plans. For example, I'm going to go to France for my next vacation. I'm not sure what place I'll visit yet, but I think I'll visit the Eiffel Tower. Before I explain the grammar involved in this lesson, I would like to play an audio program to illustrate how this topic is used. Your task is to listen carefully and take notes as I'll ask a few questions about this listening activity at the end. I'm so excited. We have two weeks off. What are you going to do? I'm not sure. I guess I'll just stay home. Maybe I'll hang out with my friends and watch some movies. What about you? Any plans? Yeah, I'm going to relax at the beach with my cousin. We're going to go surfing every day. And my cousin likes to fish, so maybe we'll go fishing one day. Sounds like fun. Say, why don't you come with us? Do you mean it? I'd love to. I'll bring my surfboard. That's great. The more the merrier. By the way, where are we going to stay? Oh, we can stay at my aunt and uncle's beach house. They have plenty of room, and I'm sure they'll be happy to have guests. I'll call in tonight to let them know what time we're going to arrive. I guess we'll leave pretty early. There's a direct bus every morning at 5 a.m. That's fine with me. I think I'll be too excited to sleep. Now let me present this structure. What we want to do in this lesson is learn how to talk about future plans using going to and will. Now for the main part, both of those are quite similar when you express future plans or when you express things about the future. But what we're going to learn in this class is that we're going to use be going to whenever you talk about something that you've decided on. That's the key here. Something that you've decided on, we're going to use be going to. So let me give you a quick example about that. Let's say that you're going to take a vacation. You already bought the plane ticket. You already got permission from your job so it's very unlikely that you'll change these plans. In order to express these ideas you're gonna use be going to to express that. So for example I'm gonna take vacations next week. I'm gonna go to France. That's just a quick example there. Um, you're almost sure that that event will happen. On the other hand let's say that you're gonna uh, you want to take vacation but you don't know yet. You haven't even asked your boss about it yet. And so um, you're chatting with some friends and they ask you, so what are you planning to do for your vacations? And maybe you respond, well, I'm not sure. I guess I'll go to Europe next month. But I don't know. I haven't bought the tickets. I haven't 
ask my boss whether I can go or not. And so in order to express that idea that you haven't decided on, then we're going to use these expressions. I guess I'll just um, stay home. Th these are the examples here in the book, but um, going back to our example about vacations, I guess I'll travel, but I'm not sure where. Uh, maybe I'll go somewhere in, in Europe. I probably will go somewhere in Europe. And that's, I mean, those are just my examples on, on how uh, you will use these expressions. But the idea here is that if you're thinking about something that you're not sure about whether that will happen or not, then you're going to use these expressions towards the right. And that's the difference that we're going to learn in this particular class. So quickly before we talk about this particular chart, what I would like to do is just present the structure on how to form sentences with be going to. So the examples on the left side of this chart. In order for us to express our thoughts and ideas about the future with be going to, we're going to have some sort of subject. So in this case, I'm going to say um, I am going to stay home for the weekend. Okay, that's what I want to express. Um, and so, in order for us to form that idea, I'm going to have some sort of subject. This is going to follow the verb to be. And then this is going to follow going to. If you notice, going to is some kind of auxiliary to form our ideas in the future. And then this is going to follow the verb in its present form. And then whatever complements. So like in this case, I'm going to stay home for the weekend. Right? So this is what I've decided on doing. That's my plan. And so if you see towards the left side of the chart, we said that we're going to use be going to plus the verb for plans that you've decided on. Now, let me talk about things that I haven't decided on. So in order for me to talk about possibilities that will happen, then I'm going to use the expressions towards the right. Now, let me talk about the possibilities of what I'm going to do at my house. And so um, what I want to do is present this structure towards the right, because what I want to do is I want to think about the things that I haven't made a decision on. So in order for me to express those ideas, what I want to do is I want to have some sort of possibility, if you will. All right. And so what do I mean by that? Well, the expressions such as I guess, all right, the expression maybe, uh, the expression I think, the expression I probably, OK? Um, and so that's what I want you to notice here, right? So, well, I'm going to stay home for the weekend, I guess. And then this is going to follow a subject. I will watch the football game, all right? And so I could do the same thing for the rest of the possibilities that I mentioned. These are just words that will guide me towards expressing that this is not something that I've decided on. Maybe I'll watch the football game. Uh, I think I'll watch the football game. I probably will watch the football game. Now, um, with this last one here, I would like for you to pay attention to that one. Um, this is not going to follow the subject, OK? Uh, it will just continue to follow. I probably will watch the football game. But for the rest, you will need that subject there in the middle. Okay. I guess I'll watch the football game. Maybe I'll watch the football game. I think I'll watch the football game. But however, with this one, you don't want to use uh, a subject there in the middle. I probably will watch the football game. The last thing that I would like for you to do is to think about your next vacation and make a plan of where you want to go. And then within that plan, think of all the possibilities. And of course, use this topic that we're covering today in class. So you may use these questions to help you with this exercise. How are you going to spend your next vacation? Where are you going to go? When are you going to take your next vacation? How long are you going to be on vacation? 
Now, if you look at, let's say, the second question, where are you going to go? You might have decided to take your vacation and you might know exactly where to go. And then, again, you might not. So if you're sure about it, then you're going to use the expressions towards the left. You're going to use be going to plus, um, you know, whatever complement that exists. So you're going to use, I'm going to go to Europe. All right, that could be um, your plan. But if you don't know, you haven't decided on, I'm not sure of where I'm going to go. I guess I'll travel, but I don't know where. And so you'll use the expressions towards the right side of this chart. All right, here we are. Hi, Noe, you made it. <laughs> Hello. Hi, I hadn't seen you in a while. I was wondering what happened with you. Hey, Everything all right? Yes, okay. <laughs> Great you joined. And also, let me see. Um, Arnold, is he still here? I don't know where he went. No, I don't see him. I'm going to message him. All right, guys. So now that you have this, and I also sent you an image, right? Were you able to see it? Let's open it, all right? And tell me what the differences are. For example, na, 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 na. all right, did you get this image, everyone? I don't see it. Yeah? Yes. So, will versus going yes. to. All right, let's make a comparative chart of our, our own. When are we going to use will? Tell me quickly, everybody participate. We're going to do a chart here. Will versus going to. What are the differences? Well, when you Will use going to, it's because name. you have certainly decided something to do in the future. Okay, so we're saying that we're using, you know what? The thing is that we use both for plans, all right? But what is the difference? If we use both for plans. You use will when you aren't sure. Plans is that you are not sure, okay, I like that, or uncertain, we can say, and this is when you are sure. Also, regarding plans, what else? What other differences? I will ask you a question, all right? So, if it's an immediate decision, are you going to use will or going to? Sorry, what did you say? If it's an immediate decision, are you going to use will or going to? I probably I'm going to use will because I don't know. <laughs> okay, yeah, this is a quick decision. Imagine somebody ding down, ding down, and you're like, oh, I will open the door. Not I'm going to open the door. Ten minutes later, right? It's a quick decision. And here, this is you have more time to plan it. That's the difference. Okay, now if we talk about hold on, I'm gonna. Uh, uh, uh. All right, if we talk about promises. What do you think you use? Will or going to? Promises. Will or going to, guys? No idea? I think it's going to. Because it's uh, something short. It's short. <laughs> you don't break them. Okay, do you remember this song? Cover your ears? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> but in no. Ah, I don't want to sing this song, but I'm going to change the tone. We'll always love you. That's a promise. You know it. I don't want to sing it. <laughs> the one that says, I what song? always love you. You know it, right? Ah. That's a promise. It's a promise. So what are we? <laughs> sing, go ahead. <laughs> no. Ah. <laughs> So you we're going to use yeah. will, will for promises, okay? Remember this song. So you say, I will be class teacher, okay? I will always love you, so on, okay? Then we also have, um, let me see, oh, predictions. We're going to use it for predictions. Will. Mm, we're going to use both, actually, but what is the difference if we use both for predictions? What's the difference? Going to? 
Okay, here are the options. All right, for one of them, you have evidence, and for the other one, you have no evidence at all. What is the difference then? Which one are you going to use? Well, we're going to, for the ones with, uh, that you don't have evidence for. No evidence? I think it will. I'm going to give you the answer through WhatsApp, all right? Check WhatsApp. Ah, okay. <laughs> all right, look, that's the answer. <laughs> I read it in that. <laughs> now, look, you're going to you use... do that. <laughs> Eva, I'm going to give you a prediction, okay? <laughs> you're going to use, I'm going to justify this. So you use will for <laughs> predictions with no evidence. For example, <laughs> for example, you will be rich. Okay. There it is. I sent it to WhatsApp for anybody who's not in class. Guys, let's mute the microphone. Yeah. Somebody has, okay, that's better. Sorry, so, my dog. <laughs> it's all right. So for no, was a for no evidence, you're gonna use will, all right? When you have evidence, you're going to use going to. For example, if I tell you, mm -mm, mm -hmm. Jose Armando, I'm going to give you a prediction. Let me read my magic bowl. Okay. <laughs> and I say, okay, Jose Armando, Armando, uh, you will have a big house in, in 2015. No, what am I saying? 2025. <laughs> okay. Wow, you're going backwards. <laughs> yeah, I was going. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is it. Do I have evidence of this, guys? No. no, you don't. All right, I'm just making up whatever, right? So we're going to use will. If we have evidence, imagine that you open the window right now and it, it looks gray and cloudy. You would say, oh, it, it, it's going to rain, you're going to say, because you have the evidence right there. Or imagine that you see a woman like this. Right, look. I want to show you an image to make it a little bit visual. I'm gonna see. I hope we don't have mutes here or anything. All right, imagine you see this woman. Can you see her? Yes. Yes. All right. Can you tell um, that she's going to have a baby? Yes or no? Yes, yes. of course. Yes. What's your evidence? How do you know? Big Are you big belly. tellers? No, oh, the She's big belly definitely. tells you. <laughs> exactly, it's obvious, right? So you have evidence. <clears throat> You're going to say she is it's going, going to be a boy or a girl. Have a baby. She's going to have a baby because you see the big belly. Exactly. Okay. So that's basically the difference. But in reality, and to be practical, you can use either or. All right. So if you want to be correct, you need to know the difference. Any questions about this? Uh, no. Not nope. for the moment. No. Okay, awesome. Now we're going to practice, but we need to look at the structure first. What I want you to practice is either using going to, if you're sure, if you're certain, and if you doubt it, if you are unsure, we're going to use these expressions. So we have uh, one, two, three. We have four expressions to express uncertainty. What are they? The first one is guess. Four expressions to express uncertainty. What are they? Probably. Uh huh. Probably. Guess. Maybe. Or maybe and. I think. No, thank you. Right. Let's write them. Oh, it's not your song. Hold on. So let's write them. Um, using will to, exp uh, to express uncertainty. You're going to use 
Yes. What else did we say? Maybe. Maybe. Probably, right? And? I think. I and think. I think. Okay. Now, there is something you need to know about the position of probably. If it's negative, where is it going to be? Where do you have probably? When you don't know. Uh, right, no, but it's a negative form, look. So that position is I probably want if it's negative. And want. if it's affirmative, you're going to say I will probably. So be careful with where you place the word because it's different, okay? So take note, uh, take note of this because this is what we're going to practice. All right, I'm going to ask you a question like, um, are you going to travel next year? Guys, are you going to travel next year? Uh, maybe. Well, in my case, I have no plans. <laughs> I have no plans, but so I probably won't travel this year. Right, I that's good. I want to travel from my house to work. <laughs> that would be more like commuting rather than traveling, but yeah. So yes. I know. If you're not sure, you're going to use these expressions, I guess, maybe, probably, with will. And if you're sure, you're simply going to use going to. Is that clear? Yes. All right. If you can, please take a screenshot of this, especially this, because this is what I want you to practice. All right, and going to. Now, I'm going to send you some questions and I would like you to practice with, with a group. All right, and I'll send the questions in right. one minute. So let's get in groups, please accept the invitation. Here we go. have to to switch between whatsapp and and the application to the to the for connect to the class yes and i i don't what like about you, Jose Armando? here just in my cell phone too i, oh. I have a problem with my computer is i have a problem to, i can't I can uh, turn on. Okay. Okay, let's work. Uh, we're going to uh, practice because now with on. going so to I it. Myself. Okay, if, if you want, you could. Um, uh, we need to use. You so, if you want, you could be A or B. I think we are going to be working with the last image. You go first with Jenny. Jenny, could you hear us? Jenny? Jenny? Hold on. Um, ah, Roberto is here, I think. So practice with Roberto while Jenny joins, okay? 
Okay, we need to do the A and B question. Yes. Yes, and if you're not sure, use guess. Probably, if you're okay. sure, use going to. All right. Yeah, the two of you can practice. Go ahead. Okay. What, do, what are you going to do tomorrow night? I'm going to watch TV with my mom. Me too. Yes. Yes. Why? Because the true love is the mom. Yes. No, I'm going to karaoke tomorrow in the night with my friends. Oh. Are you sure? Uh, maybe. Uh huh. So you say maybe. Know. Maybe you will. will, so maybe I will, because going to is like it's a hundred percent sure. <laughs> All right, so I don't maybe know. Maybe I will go to karaoke. Uh, I I will go to the karaoke. Right. Is anyone in your class going to have a birthday par party soon? I do say. I know. Jenny asked the question, second question. Okay, what are you going to do tomorrow morning? I'm going to work tomorrow in the morning. Okay, and you, Mirna? Yes, I'm going to work, but probably I will. I I will celebrate um, Valentine's Day with my coworkers. Bye. Uh, what are you going to do tomorrow, guys? See, it says, what are you going to do tomorrow? Tomorrow morning. Tomorrow in the morning. <clears throat> um, tomorrow, I'm going to, I'm going to go to work. Mm -hmm. uh, first, I going to 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 have my breakfast, and after that, I going to go to work. And okay. And how about you, Yolanda? Hey. I probably will uh, get up early and then I will I, I'm going to to take a shower milk <laughs> what am I <laughs> how do you say menchilaron menchilaron how do you say menchilaron los compañeros <laughs> ah what do you mean que le dieron ganas de hacer algo o que mucho chile la comida Ah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> no, they put too much, too much hot sauce on my food. Yeah. Huh? Hot sauce on my food. My parents is, it's a joke for me. Teacher, today is her, his birthday. Oh, really? We're gonna sing happy birthday yeah. to you. Yeah, teacher, today. <laughs> Thank you. Thank yeah, you, teacher. <laughs> We're gonna sing. We have. My, my partner, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, my partner, uh, next one. Me. Next question. Is Four. anyone? Is anyone in your class going to have a birthday party soon? What is no? When is your when is your birthday? Um, my birthday. My twenty second January. January twenty second. Ah, so yeah, January twenty second. Yeah. November eleven. November eleven. Is mm -hmm. March first? Okay. I will probably see you then. You are going to be March first. Right, mine is March 1st. So if you're still with me, you're going to see me that day probably. I know it's a Sunday, so you know you want, you want, you want. Yeah. But it, it's, Happy uh, birthday. 
Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, happy you know birthday. One of your classmates' birthday tonight. So we're probably going to sing happy birthday to him. Because today is uh, Miguel Angel. Really? Today is my mom's birthday. Oh, really? Say happy birthday to her. Yeah. Do you want anything special? Thank you. Not really, because I got a, I got, I went to work today in the morning, and in the afternoon we went to, to church, probably Saturday at night. Oh yes, that's better. So you have more time, and you don't have like a hectic day. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, continue. When are you going to exercise next? Exercise. When are you going to exercise next? When? when um, do I probably exercise to do the exercise. <laughs> <laughs> I, I am a lazy man. I am a lazy. <laughs> He's so honest. Lazy yeah. but honest. Yeah. Only in the morning, I go to my work uh -huh. and walk. Oh, okay, great. Yeah, uh, I walk five, mm, five kilometers. Five kilometers? Five miles, or oh, three miles. Miles? Miles? Three miles. Yeah. Mm -hmm. miles. miles, three miles. Yes. Yeah, in the morning and in the night, I come in with At my night. house. I walk uh, three miles again. Oh. oh, that's something. That helps, right? <laughs> and you? What do you... I'm back. I'm going uh -huh. back. <laughs> the only one who's back and you can tell yeah i guess they're too engaged in the conversation or something i don't know put on, put on. okay how much okay. let's wait because we don't have many people here yet hey guys have you done yeah. the final yeah. exam yet i have how was it good um yeah actually yes like the midterm really helped a lot so it was can my memory was kind of fresh hey Lord, so everything you, i have, have you ever worked in a call center you know the before i tried uh, last year no mm -hmm. two years ago two no years ago i tried i applied yeah i applied they gave me the interview but my typing skill wasn't not good enough to be part of call center and did you live in the united states or something yeah i used to live there for 14 years i have here almost three years since i came back oh okay yeah i kind of could tell i was able to tell because you sounded like some co-workers i used to have the accent you know that's why i'm american sorry I sound more like a gringo style. <laughs> yeah, perhaps. All right, guys. Um, have you done the final exam already? Have you taken it? Heidi, Yolanda, have no, you done it? I I have done yet. I haven't done it I yet. I haven't. Right. Okay. Awesome. Uh, it's okay because. That's basically the only thing we're missing. And then we're done, but I still want you to be in class because we're gonna review previous topics and also do speaking activities related to them. Okay, one of them uh, that we're gonna review right now is how much and how many. Do you remember this? How much and how many? What is the difference? Uh, how much is used for Uncountable noun. Right. And how many is many. countable noun? Right, so we're using how much for uncountable? 
in Calvary for accountables, right? Yeah. Very good. So I sent you some questions that I would like you to discuss. And also, I'm going to send you an image of race. And I would like you to decide whether you're going to be using much or many. Let's discuss those questions, the, one I, uh, the ones that I sent to WhatsApp, all right? I'll give you six minutes to practice, six or seven minutes. So let's do it quickly, please. Do you have any questions about this topic or is it good? Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. All right. Sorry. Yes. Yes. I lost the connection, but I'm ready now. So hold on. Here. I made new groups. Let's practice those questions in five minutes. So let's do it quickly, please. Accept the invitation, please. Okay, what about you, Irina? <laughs> I eat uh, some bread in the morning, and sometimes I eat some bread in the afternoon, but sometimes it's a piece of bread or two pieces of bread. Okay. Well, in my case, I hardly ever... Uh, it etc. <laughs> and um, you uh, Roberto. How much better you? Any kind of bread. Uh -huh. And you, it's Katia? Secret. I eat one or two <laughs> pieces per day. Okay. A small pieces. Third okay. question. I think uh, all of us they like to eat uh, sweet bread sweet and for snacks. <laughs> yeah. With, with, yeah. With coffee. <laughs> Coffee is the best, but I, I think Kat is the one who don't drink nope. coffee. <laughs> if I'm not, you don't drink coffee, right? I don't yeah, <laughs> she eats. <laughs> Third question is how much sugar 
do you add on your co coffee or milk? In I have been practicing practice yeah. in that class. No, no, we say yeah. no, zero. Yeah. Zero spoon of sugar. Only milk and have put sugar. And two, two sobres. Sugar. <laughs> sugar diet. <laughs> okay. Ah, okay. <laughs> the other one. How much money do you have on your wallet right now? Uh, two dollars. <laughs> <laughs> two dollars in no nickel in billete. No me acuerdo. Sachet. One little sachet. I like the, a little bitter coffee. I don't like very, uh, very sweet. Okay. The next. Okay. How much money do you have on your wallet right now? Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> I don't have money. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have much money. <laughs> I don't have that much money either. I think I think only how the como se dice vuelto the change change the change yeah we're trying to make it right. neat. I have probably ten dollars on my wallet. In my wallet. In my wallet, yes. Right. In. Because the question mm. says on your wallet. Oh, really? Yes. Okay. How much money do you have on your wallet right now? Right, Is yeah. Is that one? Yeah, it's in, in your wallet. Or how much money do okay. you, I think that the original question was how much money do you have on you? And I modified it to oh. my wallet. Right, so that's probably a why. Mr. Garcia, we're oh. trying to make ends meet, huh? Me. <laughs> I'm saying that we're trying to make ends meet. I understand. Sorry, I understand. But, uh, let me put. Okay, repeat, please. <laughs> I'm saying I'm trying to make ends meet. Intentando llegar a fin de mes. I'm going to send it to WhatsApp so you can check it later. Ah, make yes. <laughs> there it is. I sent it. Yes. This is uh, I was make and yes. I was telling this is the, What's the expression? first time I actually hear that. Oh really? <laughs> you were saying what Mr. Garcia, sorry? I was telling that it yes. in my wallet only have it. I was telling in my wallet How the the change? Payday. Uh, ¿Cómo se dice día de pago, teacher? Payday. Payday. Yes. Uh, okay. In some. Oh, Servando, you're here. Welcome yes. back, everyone. You finished the questions? Thank you. <laughs> Everything finished? Okay, awesome. And uh, next week, we're going to work on the final exam, all right? So if you have any questions about it, if it's difficult or something, we're going to do it together, okay? And all the topics that we have learned throughout this module, we're going to be reviewing like today. And on top of that, we're going to be practicing like we did today. So it's going to be a um, fun week, I hope, all right? Now, I wanted to tell you, let's make a Spanish parenthesis here. Déjenme leerles el mensaje tal cual. Un segundo. Ah, ah, ah. Ya les están solicitando la información a sus empresas, dice acá, para que se registren al siguiente módulo. ¿Empezaron a recibir eso? Yes. Sí, en el correo. Yes, yes by mail. You got it by mail. Mm -mm. Sí, ya están enviando la documentación para el siguiente módulo a los alumnos. Eh, 
y recordarles que están solicitándolo a las empresas. Así que si pueden, verifiquen con, con sus empresas si ya lo enviaron y si está a tiempo, que todo esté correcto para estar ya listos para el siguiente módulo. Ok. Ok. ¿Tienes preguntas sobre eso? No. 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 Okay. no. All good. Okay, I, I want to show you. Uh, most likely, most likely, because it happened to me once that I only had a group for one month. So I'm not sure, but it could be. Maybe I will. I'm practicing. <laughs> Maybe I will. <laughs> I'm not sure. All right, I want to show you uh, an image here. My internet is bad tonight. Do you remember that burger that I saw? <laughs> remember? The burger? Yep. <laughs> no, I don't remember. I came to class late. Okay, I'm sending it again. So that was one of the topics we studied throughout the module, right? That we use as, uh -huh. and we use the adjective, and as again, you cannot forget the two, um, the two parts of it, exactly. Tomorrow we will practice with that. So for example, we are saying here, uh, indoor activities are as fun as outdoor activities. So you see we have as, we have the adjective, and we have as again, right? So what we're going to do tomorrow? I disagree. Uh -huh, we're going to say whether we agree or disagree and why. So we're going to try to compare it. That we're going to do tomorrow anyway. Okay. Any questions? No. No. Nope. All right. So oh no, not tomorrow. Tomorrow is Friday, right? Monday. On yeah. Monday then. I hope you have a beautiful weekend. Thank you. Thank Any you. Questions? Let me know. All right. Have fun. And see you on Monday. See you on Monday. Good night. Have a good weekend. Have a nice weekend. Bye. Enjoy your weekend. Enjoy your Valentine's Day, everyone. Oh, yeah. Thanks. <laughs> and happy birthday, Miguel Angel. Sorry about that. Yeah, happy birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Happy birthday, Joy. Happy Valentine's. Happy birthday to you. Okay, bye. And happy Valentine's too. Thank you. Okay, happy birthday. Thank you.